Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Sophie. I am a 22 year old living in New York City. And today is a very exciting day because my roller skates came. As some people may know, you know, my friends and family or whatever, um, I have said for like months now that my summer activity is going to be roller skating. I, well, I was really like deep between either rollerblading or, or roller skating. I really didn't know which one I wanted to do. And so I did like extensive research and just kind of see, just to look and see what's more like what I want to do this summer. Um, and so my research pretty much concluded that like roller blades were for like more sport and like going distance and fast, whereas uh, roller skating is... Um, more for like dancing and tricks and things like that, which both seem really, really up my alley, <laughs> either or. Um, but ultimately, I decided to go with skates, and so they just came today. Um, I got the Impala skates. I needed like a beginner skate. I didn't want to drop like a whole bunch of money. Um, so I just did, again, research and just figured that Impala was like a decent beginner skate um and so I'm gonna unbox them right now I have not even seen them I haven't even tried them on so I don't even know if they're gonna fit properly but we will see right now all right so I moved a little further back so I can like so y'all can see what's happening here they came while I was at work today so I texted my roommates and I was like, guys, can you please go get them? I like, didn't want them to like maybe get stolen. Not that I've had anything stolen in the past, but this has been a long time waiting. So I couldn't risk anything. Okay. Here's the box. Oh my gosh, I'm nervous to try them on because what if they don't fit? Oh, I think they're going to fit. They smell good. Alright, so this is one skate. Nice. Alright, here's the other. Show you guys up close. So I'm sure if you've seen roller skates before, you've probably seen these ones. So pretty much just, just got the white one, pink wheels, blue laces, has like the Impala detail on the back there. Yeah. All right. Um, let's try these on. All right. So I do understand. Here, let's put this way. Okay. So I do understand that um, people wear like skating socks. I unfortunately don't have any, so... This is the socks that I th I'm just going to try on right now. Okay, guys, the moment of truth. I'm so nervous. Okay. <gasps> they fit. Oh, f yeah. Oh, heck yeah, man. I think they fit good. Another thing that I did... Cause I didn't necessarily just like want white ones. That was just me being picky, but I didn't realize that roller skates sold out so quickly or like are sold out everywhere. I don't know if it's normally like that. I don't know if it's because of like the pandemic and like people just need a hobby. Me, I don't know if it's cause it's summertime now or spring and it's becoming summer and people need new hobbies, <laughs> me. Um, but yeah, like I said, I didn't necessarily want white ones. So, I decided I kind of want more yellow and so since this was the only option available to me I got yellow laces so I'm gonna put those on right now now these laces okay like I said you guys I don't know how to roller skate I don't know anything about it um but I got these laces they're derby laces from Amazon um I got this like mustard color cute 
they do look a lot thinner than these ones here. I don't know if that like means anything, but I like the color a lot, so I'm just gonna go with that. Well, you know what? I'm nervous the sun's gonna go down. I think I'm just gonna... <laughs> I think I'm just gonna do the blue laces right now and then, um, you know, in the future, change it over. You know what I mean? Okay. I'm glad we're all on the same page. I don't understand why I'm struggling so bad. You know, I just, I just don't get it. Anyways, I'll resume once I'm done tying laces. It's not that exciting, right? So, you guys know, I got knee pads and stuff because I'm gonna fall, for sure, for sure. So we got some knee pads, some hand pads. I'm gonna put these on and then put my skates on and we're gonna get rolling. Y'all, they're on and I'm so nervous. <laughs> I've learned so far um, one stopping's hard <laughs> and two doing like the bubbles is a lot more difficult than it looks truly but I am having fun and I am sweating a bit so fun and a workout we love it to go outside and try skating but you know what I just realized it wasn't for me I made it down the street and I was like no um I cannot be doing this right now so we're back in the backyard and we're just gonna skate out for a little bit
one of the early beginner tricks I saw taught on YouTube was this move called the cannonball, which I'm practicing here. It does require some balance, some coordination, just because you have to squat down and you're moving at the same time. able to record here but day three let's go Okay, so I found this cool little spot to roller skate at. Here, day four, I chose this particular place. This has been my place, like in mind, and since I started skating, because it's just such a big open space, I think it'd be perfect to practice here. Uh, the only reason I have it is because after work in the evening, there's people here playing baseball, basketball, it's pretty crowded. So it's Saturday morning, and we are gonna skate day four.
All right, so it's day five. Um, I just got back from the park. I just skated around for about 30 minutes and now we're gonna do some skill training. Let's go. I'm kind of having a hard time today. I don't know what it is. It's me trying to skate backwards. I'm having an issue. So if you ever see anything and you know skating, uh, comment below and tell me where I'm messing up. leaning too far forward on my toes because I keep like projecting forward, you know? On this day, I also practice a lot of balance just because I'm aware that a lot of technical skill and tricks require balance. This is me practicing doing an arrow from a cannonball, clearly failing. And now I'm doing crossovers once more. So I can hopefully in the future achieve the goal of doing that cool TikTok moonwalk thing that you see everywhere nowadays. This is day seven of roller skating. I would say on this day I felt the most comfortable. I was still a little wobbly when doing turns, but I got my backwards skating pretty well. I would say that this is the most comfortable I felt backwards skating this entire time, which is really exciting because that was one of my main goals to try to get to learn the quickest. On this day, I also just practice more tricks. I practice a lot of balance on, on each foot. Uh, this is me doing crossovers again to get more familiar with the feeling of balance on the outside of my foot, I believe. On this day, I got to master the cannonball and then doing the arrow out of the cannonball, which was something that I found very difficult early on.
that was my first full week of learning how to roller skate i hope you enjoyed as much as i did actually doing it i definitely suggest uh learning how to roller skate or getting some um it's it's fun, it's exercise, and um, you get to be outside. One of my uh, favorite things about this experience has just been, I guess you would say like the community behind it. Um, almost every time I went outside to roller skate, someone approached me and either commented um, about my skates, they um, gave me suggestions of where to roller skate, uh, people telling me that, oh, I'll see you at the park, like I roller skate too. So that is my experience so far. I'm very excited to have this be like a normal summer hobby. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for watching.